lost him. Paramore went on a break as they head toward the quarter. 11 a.m. is fifth, looking to move up on the outside. Bowville Julius drops back at the rail, so 11 a.m. has room to settle as Gemini John brushes to the lead. Hurricane Shannon is now racing in seventh, and at the back after the break as they hit the opening quarter in 28-1 and one is Paramore. He's probably 20 lengths from the front. Gemini John leads Western Glory onto the back stretch. Exponential is watching the action just in behind the pacemakers from third, and Western Chiefs skims the pylons, gapping slightly in fourth. On the move, Campbell with 11 a.m. was tipped to the outside. Hurricane Shannon would like to catch that cover. Bullville Julia struggling a bit toward the back of the pack, and now 11 a.m. is brushing quickly. 11 a.m. goes right around Gemini John and takes the lead. The half up in 57 and 3. Racing in third is Western Glory. Hurricane Shannon left on covered there on the outside. Exponential yet to leave the cones is now trapped in. Western Chief at rail ride all the way. He's sixth and under a firm hold now, and Bullville Julius finally went on a break. As they head toward three quarters, Exponential gets out to follow the cover of Hurricane Shannon as 11 a.m. still fronts the field. Hurricane Shannon just off the leader's wheel, trying to apply some pressure there. Exponential looks three wide. Gemini John at the rail, and in behind a wall of horses, Western Glory off three quarters, 127 and one, and it's 11 a.m. who leads it. Exponential starting to kick on on the outside. Gemini John angles for room, and Western Glory getting a bit steppy, trying to shoot the gap at the rail there, but they're coming down to the finish. 11 a.m. leads it by two. Western Glory on the inside moving towards second. 11 a.m. almost there, and it's 11 a.m. to win from Western Glory and Gemini John, 155 and 2. Returning to the winner's circle, number five, 11 a.m. He's a two-year-old Falcon Sealster Colt out of I Must Be Dreamin', who's by Royal Command C. All by the Berry Stables of Staten Island, New York. The trainer is Bruce Saunders, and Hall of Famer John Campbell is in the sulky. 11 a.m., winning in 155-2 and two to take this division of the New Jersey Sire Stakes. Standing by to make the trophy presentation, the executive director of the Sire Stakes program, Mr. Greg Bomer. Post time for the third race in 14 minutes at 8.07. Exact to trifecta pick three. Scratch number three, Maltese Malcolm, who is sick. Number three, Maltese Malcolm, has been scratched sick in the third race. Fourth race is clear. Fifth race, scratch number two, South Park Hanover, who is lame. Post time, 13 minutes at 8.07.